Welcome to the Green Data Ventures Cookbooks, the video series where we share recipes for success. This video will explain sales price lists in Microsoft's project operations. We will be showing you how to create a new price list and add prices for both roles and products. As you can see, we are in Dynamic 365 Project Operations in the Sales area. More specifically, we are in the Price List category. As you can see, we have a view that is specifically Sales Price Lists. These price lists are used to define the price of your products and services. And this is going to set the price the client will pay, which is really helpful in bottom-up quoting. So over here in Dynamics, you can see there's an area to create quotes. Um, when you create a quote, it's going to ask for a price list, and you would use these price lists that we're about to create. Um, and as you can see, there are nine different price lists in this area, in this category of sales, and that just shows how you can maintain separate price structures for different regions, or also different clients, or for whatever reason you need to have different price structures. So let's begin by creating a new price list. Clicking up here where it says new, it's going to take us to a form of new price list. Let's add a name. This price list is going to be an Australian price list. And it is going to be a sales price list. The default context is sales. However, there are two others. We're going to keep it at sales. The next thing you can set after context is start and end date. This is going to establish when you can begin and end using this price list. I'm going to keep that blank for now. The next thing after date is going to be currency. Because we're creating an Australian price list, I'm going to click this magnifying glass over here, and it's going to show us other currencies that we have in the system. I'm going to use Australian dollar today. The next thing after currency is time unit. This is very important when setting the roll prices and how they are going to bill. And we're going to keep that as at hourly, although it could be daily or any other unit of time. You can add a description to make it clear what this um, price list is for. We can just say this is prices for Australian customers. And let's make sure that's capitalized for our Australian folks. Okay. Now that we have that price list all filled out, we can save and close. This is going to bring us back to that sales price list area that we had before. And as you can see, our new list is right at the top here. Now the next thing we're going to do is click into here again. And we are going to go and set a roll price. So to do that, you click on roll prices. And then you're going to click new roll price. And this will bring up a quick create form in which we can set the role, resourcing unit, price, and unit of time. So let's look for a role. Now you can either do this by pressing enter or searching in this um, magnifying glass for more records. So these are all your different bookable resource categories that are in your organization. We're gonna do an account manager today. You can also look for a resourcing unit in the same way as we just did by clicking on this and it's going to show up different organizational units. Let's use our global one. And now we're going to set a price for our account manager. Let's set 150, and when we hit enter, it's going to show the Australian dollars because we have this currency set from the price list. The next thing to do is either save and close or hit this down arrow, and you can save and create new. This is a really useful feature if you're creating many different role prices at the same time. Let's save and close. And as you can see, your changes were saved, and we have the account manager right here. Now that we've created a role price, let's go over to price list items and create a product price. In new price list item, we're going to click that. And as you can see, the price list it's associated with is the one we're currently working on, so that's great. We're going to look for a product. I know what I'm looking for, so I'm just going to type ahead. And we're looking for this armband 150. Let's click on that. It's going to give us a unit. And that um, is set when you create the product itself. And you can either uh, search ahead or type for what you want. Today, we're going to do the extended package. Next, you can, as you can see, the Australian dollar is what we've set as the priceless currency, so that's locked. 
The discount list is um, another option that you can add here, as well as quantity selling option. There are three different choices here, no control, whole, or whole and fractional. We're gonna keep that as no control. The next thing to actually set the price is to go from the general area to pricing information. In pricing information, there is this pricing category, which has pricing method, which has a variety of different methods. We're going to keep it as currency amount, and then you can set the amount. And remember, this is going to be in the currency that the entire price list is in, so this is the Australian dollar. Now that that looks good, we're going to save and close. And as you can see, we now have our new armband 150 with the extended package. And if we just scroll over here a bit, we can see the amount is 75. Perfect, let's save and close. And now we have our new price list with the roll price and product price.